I'm humbled, proud, and truly honored to have my name and my family's name in the number one stadium in the country. Thank you. Fresno State recently renamed the softball stadium to Margie Wright Diamond after the Hall of Fame coach who led the Dogs to the 1998 National Championship. Hundreds of people gathered for a pregame ceremony on Saturday to honor Wright, who was the driving force behind the construction of the stadium. President Joseph Castro, Athletic Director Thomas Bowe, and former player Kerry Donis all spoke in praise of the winningest softball coach in NCAA history. Donis said that Wright was a trailblazer for the sport. This was the first women's softball stadium built, and everybody else modeled their stadiums after this. Uh, so we put softball pretty much on the map. Former players and fans were then encouraged to sign posters and fill out Margie memories that were later read aloud during the game. A self-proclaimed big fan of Wright, Michael Burns, who has been coming to games for 20 years, said he has so many fond memories of Coach. I can't give you one favorite memory. I give you the Division National World Championship is probably the favorite. After the ceremony, fans filled the newly named Margie Wright Stadium to honor her successes right here at Fresno State. On the field before the game, Congressman Jim Costa presented Wright with a congressional record of honor for her contribution to women in sports. Congratulations. Honor job. Well done. Wright then ceremoniously cut a red ribbon and threw out the first pitch at the diamond dedicated to her. It gives me goosebumps, kind of, you know. It's like, um, I'm really, really happy that they were able to do it so I could at least enjoy it, you know. So many people will never get to know about their legacy and I just feel really fortunate. The current Bulldogs then went on to earn the first victory at Margie Wright Diamond, beating the Rams 7-2. Jillian Bertolucci, Fresno State Focus.